around 60 diesels. And right, this video, bit more bodywork. Sorry it's all about bodywork at the moment, but we seem to be doing more van structural repairs than we do any description of major engine work. I've got some more interesting stuff coming in in the next couple of weeks, and we will get back to finishing ends to some of the other videos I did. Um, it's just purely that the workload at the moment is quite hectic and doing our own stuff um, is uh, almost impossible. So anyway, this um, video, oh, there's a, another lead in in a minute, but it'll sort of double up, but that'll be fine. So um, this will be a quarter panel on, a, on an LT that we've um, bought in to, to sell. Um, and it was all full of body filler. It had been tapped in one side years ago and repaired not particularly well. Um, so this will show you how to sort of do it. There is lots of time lapse in it, I do apologise, but it's quite half difficult to film and work at the same time. Um, but I've got some big I've got a couple of diesel jobs in in the next week, one of which is an engine on a Sprinter. Um, I've bought again to sell it on, on a lorry on its way from Kent down here. Um, so if you happen to have a 2.2 CDI uh, 611, I think the right engine is. Yeah. Um, it's got to be pulled apart. It's um, breathing into the crankcase, but it hasn't done many miles, so that might be an interesting one to sort out. Um, and then we also have got to get back to the other Sprinter, the 64 plate one, 63 plate one that sat out in the yard out there. Um, might one day get around to putting the big IV go back together, but it does make a very good workshop seat. Uh, and then next week we've got a lot of painting and bodywork to do. There's a little T1 I'm sure you've seen flashes of in some of my videos if you've watched them. Um, which is a little 210 petrol and then um, it would be nice to finally get and um, to make the customer this 308 that's now technically a 310 and she's a left hooker that needs painting it's been on the list of things to do for a very very long time um, and it is occupying a very large workshop space same with that camper that we've got to finish relatively quickly um, but we'll get there it, um, it's just getting particularly warm and particularly tiring. Anyway, so here is a video on if you're doing your rear quarter panels on your LT, your Sprinter, um, how I do it. Right, so today it is uh, Rusty LT35 repairing. Really nice little van actually, not done a lot of miles, but, um, but sadly the core panel on the back is pretty gouty, as you can see. Um, so I'm just going on down through here. So I'm going to try and sort that. And then I'm going to cut that off and replace it. We have eight. Well, uh, new quarter from our nice friends at Central Panels. Um, so basically, we creep down here. So rear inner seal had been horrifically repaired before. So current, I'll just chop that clean off. I'll remake that and then the little feet that um, join it. I've got a little bit of work on this upstand here and then I'm going to take this panel, you can see my line clean out below there, so I can get in here and um, sort it out. Because as you can see, I mean, any of you know LT35, the rest of it, we'll ignore the back doors because it needs two of those. But they aren't the original, the previous people took them off. It's really clean and tidy. And we're, we're going to quickly tidy it up, get it structurally. I mean, it's amazing this side. Little tiny rust blemish, nothing. All solid around here. Absolutely cracking screen panel in there. I mean, it's pretty straight and tidy, no dents in the wings. Normal where the door stays broke, so we'll sort that out. And then that bit is completely rubbish. I mean, even the sides are pretty, pretty square. Up. So, uh, so my job for the afternoon is to cut that off make it in a cell, put the droppers in, repair them. I might even cut them out of another dead one out the back. And um, and then I've got the outer seal sections. I mean, the, you could make it, but the sections are cheap enough. And then we'll, um, we'll, we'll put it all in as one lump and it'll be lovely. Right, so uh, back on it again today. We have our neatly cut repair panel out of another dead van. Um, and the bottom end of my in a way larger, real way larger, real way larger, dissolved. So we got rid of that. I managed to find a good one. So, right. 
cut that in there and join it up. That shouldn't be too difficult. Gets rid of all this nasty gout. So she's there. And then I've got the bottom in there, whether I use it or remake another one. I've currently picked the <coughs> dropper off because the bottom had uh, expired. But I've got one there, so it's only about six spot welds. And obviously this would normally go right up to here. So what we're going to do is we've cut the front off of that one. And I've got this section here still joined on, ready to join on to that one. So I spot well, well, plug welded it, let's be honest, we'll just uh, plug welded it back on. Um, and then I have to deal with that, which is over there. Um, so I'll fix that piece and then put this door post back in, which is, there's a lump of it there. And then there's another lump of it up there, some exciting stuff. And then basically, by the end of it, once I put the outer panel back on, we should have a solid fan. off today I will quickly show you what I've done so far otherwise trouble is time lapse wise you can't really see what I'm doing so it's easier if I show you through show you where some spot wells you need to know about are um, and do a few other bits and bobs so what we're going to do for a second now after I've drunk a cup of coffee and um, probably rub myself a fag because I'm supposed to be keeping up smoking but I haven't quite noticed that yet um, we'll have a closer look at this right so as you can see and um, obviously this is the recall really quarter of an LT or front the wheel arch so we had this piece badly rotten out or well, non-existent uh, this had lost its bottom originally all of this was really nastily repaired and rotted out and it turned out in the end that um, I think this thing has been thumped it's not registered ever as having an accident but it's obviously been hit here in this door pillar but this door pillar had been really nastily repaired and was very rusty so what I've decided to do or what I have done um, so because we have a range of dead vehicles, you've just seen me cut a, um, a panel out. I've actually replaced this door pillar completely. Um, welded it in, and this uh, support is out of another vehicle. That's good. I've salvaged a good bottom. I didn't have to repair it here, just for a very short way, out of a, uh, another dead LT. So basically, all of this, this rear wheel arch corner, is all seamed in, welded up, under sealed. Um, so, what we're going to do now is we're on to basically. Um, we're going to need to joggle an edge on here because obviously we're going to have a panel join. Um, I've got the replacement panel, it's just there. Um, now when you take one of these off, um, you can cut around the outside of it, all of a sudden you'll realise it's joined here. You can see the little spot welds, I think there's about four of them. If you've got the inner panel off, you can actually see them to drill them to let it off so you don't bend any of this. When I did it, wasn't too much of a worry because all of this was junk anyway. Um, so I've got to put give you a rough idea this has to go on there and then a bit more fabrication obviously because I now have a large hole here um, which was pretty glossy anyway so I'll go and extract that bit out of something else we'll see if we've got a panel that I can use I think I've got some door repair panels that, that will fill this so I'll put this section in first and run this to it and then basically the last bit I'll have to do is a quick tidy up here and then I've got a very short section of sill the rear is replaced ready to go and then the final will be I've cleaned all the surfaces along the bottom here back to proper bare metal removed it all and we'll put some weld through primer on stop it going rusty afterwards and then I can actually spot weld this original edge and then also I can spot weld this edge I'll have to whip the wheel off so that um so that we've got a nice finish basically but, um, that's sort of my plan for a Friday 
once because once this is done um, we'll have to just do the rest of it we have got a little hole damage hole up there which needs sorting um, and then all this will want prepping because we're gonna have to basically paint this big section of a van it's not too bad it's some um, Volkswagen R902 white these belties I mean it's quite an easy color to blend so basically if I paint this side and then we mop and polish the rest of the van it'll all come up to match and then um, you go for an MOT and go to a new owner all right, so I found a section of um, I basically had a what was old left hand drive for driver's side side loading door repair panel, um, which has obviously got the same profile as this. So I'm going to butt it here with the joint on the back, give me a smooth, I might grind it out. Um, I'll put a sliver in here just to thicken up the steel because I can get clean in the back there. It's not the problem. Um, so I've got it, tuck it under here. This one with a little bit of trimming, so basically, so your weld line's in there out of the way. Um, I grind that up, and then that basically will be hidden once. Um, once the vehicle's done, then the, um, the side runner strip is here. So if there was any welding lines, they'll be gone here and here. And then we'll just make a really nice, well, I'm not gonna make a nice job of that. And then obviously this will be hidden. Um, so what I've now got to attempt to do is fold the over. Ooh, let me just swing around on the end of here. Um, so I'll go and stick this. I think I'll probably end up doing it in a vise. Possibly I might have a go with the folder and then fold the corner over that, try and get a nice rounded edge to it so that this line down this door pillar is good. And then all we've got to do afterwards is stick that massive great panel in. Anyway, so this is only a little bit of service up here, so we'll clean this up as well, because basically the whole, the whole sliding door runner covers this section and they're a bit renowned for rusting behind. So we'll make sure that's all nicely gooed up before we put it back together. Right. So that's that panel, that section running. Um, it's joggled here. He says a well line in there, but it's actually flat. It hasn't bowed up, which is nice. Um, minus give my feather a little tiny bit just to weld in up the top there. Um, so I'm now on literally the finals. I've got this little drop bracket. Drop, drop bracket there to fix that little bit of welding to tidy up inside there before I seal it in. Um, and then of course the weld on the bottom here, but I'm gonna spot weld that. Just got it clamped up. And then um, I'm just making myself um, a seal section to go on the end here um, and then basically fire a load of cleaning up sealing up and hopefully fairly minor feather work I'm not far off <laughs> right I'll go back to a bit of time that's I'll fire a bit of um, minor filler finishing. And a tiny little bit more work on the back corner. I reckon that's a reasonably successful. I've had to just fill this bit basically because I tapped the paddle a little bit hard and put a dent in it. And then um, you could, uh, I had finished it all, and then you could just see a weld line along here, like a slight thingy. Not slight thingy. Very, very shallow dented, which I can't knock back out again. So filled there. Um, this is all on the rails back on, I don't think. But for a bloke in the shed with a welder and some panels, that's a bad repair, really. We're all nice and clean here, it's all seamed up. And then I've um, just got a little tiny gremlin hole. God knows why it's got a rusty hole there, I think it's just from a stone chip years ago. So we'll do that t tomorrow or Monday, and um, I think we'll call that done.